What's up guys, the Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 5 clothing glitches that still work after patch 1.56. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into the first glitch. So for the first clothing glitch, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get the red and blue duffel bag. So for this, you guys are going to want to go ahead and own an arcade. After you guys have your arcade, then you guys are just going to want to head over, head over here to your garage area and go over here to your prep setup board. So whenever you guys are at your setup board, as your select approach, you guys are going to be selecting the big con. So it's going to be the bug stars van right here. So after you guys do have that selected, then you guys are just going to want to go over here and go to your prep board. So whenever you guys go ahead and get to your prep board, you guys will have to obviously choose your support crew first, and then you guys should be able to do your approach specific preps. So you guys will need to do the bug stars gear. So this, once you guys do the two parts on the bug stars gear and you do all the other stuff, you guys should be able to do the final heist and have the bug stars gear as one of your outfits. So after you guys did the bug stars gear of the two parts, Go over here and go to your uh, final board and then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start this up. So whenever you guys are at this part, you guys will need a friend for this glitch. So after you, after you guys have a friend in here, you guys can just go ahead and confirm your settings and then you guys can just go ahead and launch the heist. So when you guys go ahead and load into here, you guys will want to make sure your entry disguise is set to bug stars. After your entry disguise is set to bug stars, you guys can set the other stuff to whatever you guys want. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to be finishing the heist or going to the casino for this. So after you guys did that, then you guys can just have your friend ready up and then you can just go ahead and hit continue. And whenever you guys load into here, you guys can just go ahead and set the outfits to whatever you guys want. It doesn't matter. Then you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Once you do load outside your arcade, you guys will see that you guys are wearing the blue and red duffel bag. Now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and scroll down to illuminating, illuminating clothing and scroll through that for at least 40 seconds to a minute. So I'll just get back to you whenever I'm done scrolling for at least 45 seconds. So once you guys at least scroll through it from 40 seconds to a minute, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and leave your interaction menu up and just go ahead and sit at your Xbox or PlayStation home. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and wait here for at least three minutes or you guys can wait until you guys or until your friend tells you that you guys got kicked from the job. So I'll just get back to you whenever my friend tells me that I got kicked from the job. Okay guys, so my friend just told me that I got kicked from the job, so you guys are just going to want to go ahead and return to GTA 5, and it should say that you guys got kicked from the session for, from idling too long. Now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit continue. Once you guys load back in, you guys should see that you guys are wearing the Bug Stars outfit, so I'll just get back to you whenever I do load back into a session. So whenever you guys go ahead and load back into a session, you guys should see that you guys are wearing the Bug Stars outfit, and now you guys are just going to want to head towards the beach. So whenever you guys go ahead and get to the beach, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and join a CEO. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, and after you guys join a CEO, go ahead and click on Secure Serve CEO, scroll down to Management, scroll down to Style, and scroll one time to the left, where you guys should be wearing this outfit, and then just go ahead and head back to None, and now you guys can see that you guys are wearing the red and blue duffel bag. Now we're just going to go ahead and transfer it to any outfit that you guys want. So you guys can just transfer it to any outfit, but make sure the outfit that you guys want to transfer it over to has a saved parachute on it, on that outfit's back. So you guys can also just transfer this to another outfit and then you guys can transfer it to the outfit that you guys want later. If you guys don't have a parachute on the outfit that you guys want this duffel bag on for right now. But yeah, so you guys will need an oppressor or anything that gives you a parachute. So whenever you guys are high in the sky, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and jump off. So whenever you guys do jump off, then you guys are just going to go ahead and switch to an outfit that you guys know that does have a parachute. So whenever you guys do, whenever you guys do change to, you guys can also change to it in the sky, it doesn't matter. But after you guys change to an outfit that has a parachute, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and dive towards the mass door. So whenever you guys are diving towards the mass door, whenever you guys do hit the blue tarp, you guys will see that your character does fall. So whenever he does fall, just start spamming right on the D-pad. So whenever he start, whenever you start spamming right on the D-pad, you guys did see that my character was taken off his parachute and he had like the red and blue duffel bag on. Go ahead and hit your edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. After you guys save the outfit, then you guys can just go ahead and back out of the back out of the mass door. Go ahead and pull your interaction menu, scroll down to style, 
and just go ahead and select the outfit that you guys saved with the with the duffel bag and now you guys can see this is this is a saved outfit on my outfits so this is just a simple glitch that you guys can do with the red and blue duffel bag but yeah so now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the second glitch okay guys so for the second glitch i'm going to show you guys how you guys can get the group built on any outfit and by any outfit i just mean any outfit that you guys that you guys can make at the clothing store so you, you guys can see right here that i'm wearing the group belt on this outfit but yeah so let's just go ahead and get into the glitch so first you guys will just want to go ahead and create an outfit that you guys want with the group belt but you guys will need to make sure that you guys are able to put on a utility vest so whenever you guys are wearing the top where you guys are whenever you guys are able to put on a utility vest go ahead and scroll down to utility vest which is on slot 52 and you guys are going to be looking for the peach plate carrier the peach plate carrier is right here on slot 43 so you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip that on your outfit so after you guys go ahead and equip the peach plate carrier if your if your character has any head accessories on you guys are just going to want to go ahead and take that off your character and after you guys do that then you guys can just go over here go to the front counter and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. So now after you guys saved your outfit now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and back out where you guys see their clothing and scroll down until you guys find the heist coveralls which is on slot 13. So go ahead and click on heist coveralls and from slot 9 through slot 12 you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip any of these with the toxic mask. So after you guys equipped it, now after you guys equip this outfit, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to the pier where there is a telescope. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the pier. Okay, so once you guys go ahead and get to the telescope that's near the pier or on the pier, just go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad where your character glitches where his mask does come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and just go ahead and equip the outfit that you guys saved at the clothing store. After you guys equip that outfit that you guys saved with the peach plate carrier, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and walk away. And you guys should see that the toxic mask does transfer over with your outfit. Now you're just now you're just going to want to go ahead and go to the mask store and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. So after you guys saved your outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you guys saved it on before, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up the job that's called Titan of a Job. So just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, Rockstar created, scroll down to missions, and you're going to be looking for the job that's called Titan of a Job, and just go ahead and start it up. When you get into Titan of a Job, you guys can just go ahead and confirm your settings. After you guys confirm your settings, then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job on your own. When you load into Titan of a Job fully, you guys should see that you guys are not wearing the Peach Plate Carrier anymore. Now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to any gun store. When you get to the gun store, walk over here to the clothing. Whenever you guys get to the clothing, just go ahead and hit your edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot one or slot 20, whichever you guys saved it on before. So after you guys go ahead and saved your outfit, now you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Okay guys, so once you guys go ahead and load back into a session, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and run back inside the ammunition store. Whenever you guys get to the ammunition store, walk over here to the right side where it says outfits. Go ahead and scroll down to the diamond casino heist, which is on slot 50. And you guys are going to be looking for the group A sex gear, which is on slot 20. So go ahead and click on that. And you guys should see that you guys are wearing the group A belt with these outfits. Just go ahead and select one. It doesn't matter. After you guys go ahead and select one, after you guys are wearing the outfit with the group A belt, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up a crooked cop. So just hit pause. Scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to verses, and then just go ahead and start up the job that's called Crooked Cop. When you load into a Crooked Cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned, then you guys can just go ahead and confirm your settings, and then just go ahead and launch the job. When you load into here, scroll down to your owned outfits, and if you guys saved your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you guys saved your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. After you guys do that, then you guys should see that the group A belt did transfer over to this outfit or the outfit that you guys saved from earlier. So after you guys did that, then you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. When you fully load into a Kirk's cop, go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece. So after you guys did that, now you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. 
So whenever you guys load back into a session, you guys can just go ahead and create whatever components you guys want with your outfit with the group A belt. And after you guys create your outfit, then you guys can just go ahead and save your outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. So after you guys saved your outfit, now you guys can just go ahead and that'll be it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the third glitch. So for the third glitch, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can get Tron pants with the certain hoodie and some other components with the outfit. So for this, you guys are just gonna wanna go over here and head to a clothing store. Once you guys are here at a clothing store, head over here to your outfits, scroll down to deadline, which should be right here on slot 40. So go ahead and click on deadline and you guys can choose any color that you guys want that, that that'll, I guess, match with that certain hoodie. So that's why I went with the deadline white. So after you guys equip the one that you guys want with the, with the hoodie, now you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and head to your apartment. When you guys get to your apartment, you guys are just gonna wanna head over here to your closet area. Whenever you guys are here inside your closet, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and scroll down to tops. Whenever you guys get to tops, scroll down until you guys find special tops. So special tops should probably be right here on slot 21. So go ahead and click on special tops and you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and scroll down to manufacturer logos, which is on slot eight. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and equip. You guys can actually choose any of these hoodies that you guys want. You guys can either choose the white Nagasaki hoodie or you guys can choose the principal hoodie. So after you guys have the one that you guys want, you guys can just go and equip it. So the other accessories you guys can also add, which is pretty easy after you guys add the hoodie. So just back out, scroll down to accessories. Whenever you guys get to accessories, scroll down to gloves and you guys can just go ahead and put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. So after you guys put the gloves that you guys want, you guys can just go ahead and back out, scroll up to hats. Whenever you guys get to hats, you guys can also put on any helmet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a bulletproof helmet. So after you guys put on the helmet that you guys want, you guys can also, if you guys go ahead and scroll down to mask, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on the black tight ski, so the ski mask, which is on slot 18, and then you guys can also just put on the ski mask. After you guys do that, just hit your edit saved outfits, and you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. So that's a simple glitch that you guys can just do with the Tron pants. But yeah, so now we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next glitch. Okay guys, so for the third glitch, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can get orange joggers. So you guys can just go ahead and head to this location if you guys just wanna fly to the mission right here. Or if you guys don't feel like flying to the mission, then you guys can just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to verses, and scroll all the way down from the third to the bottom job or the job right that's right here so third from the last job you guys are just going to want to go ahead and see where it says truck off and just go ahead and start up that job so after you guys do that then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job when you load into truck off make sure your clothing is set to themed and make sure you guys have a friend in here after you guys have those two then you guys can just go and confirm the settings and then just go ahead and launch the job when you load into here, scroll down to your versus outfits and you guys are going to be scrolling until you guys find insects. So whenever you guys do find the insects, you guys will be wearing the purple or orange joggers. If you guys don't want the purple, then just go ahead and scroll to the other team and then you guys can join the other team and then you guys can see that you guys are wearing orange joggers. Now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Once you guys go ahead and load into the truck off mission, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to style and scroll down to your illuminating clothing and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll through that for at least 30 seconds. So after you guys scroll through illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and leave your interaction menu up and go to your Xbox or PlayStation home button. And after you guys do that, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and wait until your friend tells that wait until your friend tells you that you guys got kicked from the job. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do whenever I do get kicked from the job. Okay guys, so whenever your friend tells you that you guys got kicked from, from the job, just go ahead and resume into GTA, and then you guys should see that you guys, got that you guys got kicked from the job, so just go ahead and hit continue, and I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into a session. When you load back into a session, you guys should see that you guys are wearing the outfit with the orange joggers. Now you guys can just go ahead, and if you guys just wanna save this outfit real quick, just in case something happens, or if you guys mess up the components, just make sure you guys save this outfit real quick and then you guys can just go ahead and put on any tops that you guys want or any other components that you guys want with the orange joggers. But yeah, so that's basically it. That's how you guys get orange joggers. And now we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the fourth glitch. 
So for the fifth and final clothing glitch, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can combine a mask, glasses, and any helmet. So this is gonna be a real simple glitch. I'm pretty sure like maybe 98 to maybe 99% of the people know how to do th this glitch, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it anyway. So for this, you guys are just gonna wanna go over here and go to your glasses. Whenever you guys get to glasses, just go ahead and just buy a pair of glasses that you guys want with a certain outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to gun range glasses and already own the orange guns. So after you guys have a pair of glasses that you guys want, now you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and go to the mask store. So whenever you guys go and get to the mask store, you guys can just go over here to your mask and you guys can just go and buy any mask that will match your glasses and helmet. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to ski mask, which is on slot 19 and buy the charcoal toggle ski, which is on slot 94. So after you guys have a mask, then you guys can just go over here and walk to your hats. And whenever you guys go ahead and get to hats, you guys can just go ahead and buy any hat or you guys can use any helmet. So it also works with hats. It doesn't have to just be a helmet. So this also works with hats, but yeah. So after you guys have a helmet that you guys want with the outfit, then you guys can just go ahead and buy it. And after you guys buy it, then you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and go to a telescope. So you guys can either go to your apartment or you guys can go on the pier, but I'll just go back to you whenever I do get to an apartment. Whenever you get to a telescope, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and wear the mask that you guys want with your glasses and helmet. So whenever you guys are wearing the mask, just go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad. You guys will see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and just go ahead and scroll through your hats or helmet, whichever you guys want with the mask. So after you guys scroll through the hat or helmet that you guys want with the mask, just go ahead and put away your interaction menu and then just walk away. Whenever you guys walk away, you guys can see that the mask and helmet did combine. Now you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. And whenever you guys do the telescope glitch again, now you guys can see that your mask and helmet do come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your glasses that you guys wanted with your mask and helmet. So whenever you guys go ahead and scroll through your glasses, then you guys can just go ahead and walk away whenever you guys find your glasses. Once you guys walk away, then you guys should see that your mask, glasses, and helmet do combine. So, yeah, that's basically it. So that's how you guys combine a mask, glasses, and hat or helmet, whichever you guys wanted. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy these top glitches, top five glitches. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.